Hello there, friends. My name is Empty Dates, and welcome back to another episode of Castlevania: Aria of Sorrow for the Game Boy Advance. Uh, last time off, we got uh, we were here exploring the chapel, and um, now in this part, we are going to. Um, oh my God! Wow. In this part, we're going to uh, try and get, and uh, well, we're not gonna really get out of here. Well, actually, we are, but like we're gonna get out of here in a bit of a different way. Um, so, we got the double jump ability. Oh, wow, okay, we're off to a really good start. Uh, but, uh, we got the, um, double jump ability, which is going to allow us to jump twice, as the name double jump implies. Um, which is going to be useful for accessing a lot of areas that we could not explore, uh, earlier. So we just gotta backtrack now, um, there's not really mu much else around this, so that's why I'm going back. Alright, uh, so go ahead and, and push this across, and this is going to allow us to get uh, a heart pendant. I don't actually know what it does, so I'm, uh, I can't really give an accurate description. So that, that's what you get for heading up there. You can also get something pretty cool by heading, by pushing this block uh, this way. And that is a broadsword. Now the broadsword is a really powerful weapon. It does a lot of damage to enemies. Pretty high attack power. However, um, it is a it is an ar it is another arcing weapon. And again, I don't really like arcing weapons uh, very much. Um, so you will not be seeing me use that at all. Uh, however, there is there there are exceptions to arcing weapons uh, for me. As and and that is that there is one weapon uh, way later on that I actually really like. So you'll see me use that. Um, but for now, like I said, can't really do much. Okay, hold on. Uh, I don't know if I'm supposed to be going this way. Uh, actually, yeah, it is. At least I, th I, at least I think. Let's see. Head over here, and you can get a hammer. Okay, all that for a hammer. That that's that's fine. Okay, so backtracking now. Uh, we are back in the chapel, and um, e and even the chapel has some stuff that we can explore. Now that we have the double jump. Uh, mainly, if we head over here with the double jump and, well, with the combination of the double jump and the wing skeleton, we can now head over to this part. And over here we got wing skeletons, which, uh, which, which uh, you should know that those enemies because they are because that is the first soul that we got in the game. Ah. Now the rock armors are pretty useless in 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 that uh, little corridor room because um they actually like the rocks that they throw hit the ceiling. So it's pretty, pretty good in that room. You don't have much to worry about. Uh, so I got the anti-venom in that room, in that room, and the anti-venom cures poison. Uh, and over here is a warp room. Now, uh, when you see a warp room, 
then you can go to any warp room that you encounter, and you can warp over here. And this is the only uh, warp room that we that we have not seen, but you can explore it. Um, every other every other warp room you have to you you, ex you encounter, you have to of course earn them in order to warp, in order to warp over there. And um, now we're back in the castle corridor, but in a, in a different part of the castle corridor. Alright, so over here we have another new enemy called the Killer Doll. And the Killer Doll, they used to be items in other Castlevania games. And this game, the Killer Dolls are item, or are enemies. The Cestus right there is the first instance of a fist weapon. So you're going to be using your arms in order to fight uh, using that weapon. It is not very good, in my opinion, so I will not be using it at all. Alright, so you head down over here, and guess what? You should recognize this, because if we head over here... We are now outside. And now that we have the double jump, we can actually explore like this this like very beginning part area. You can get a lucky charm right there, which increases luck. Um luck is a stat in this game where like increase your chance of like any randomness uh, to go in your favor. Like the higher your luck stat is, the more randomness will go into your will go in your favor. Like, you'll have a pretty good chance of getting souls, too. Okay. Welcome back, Soma. Hey, what? That man over there. Who, you mean Hammer? His name's Hammer? Don't you think he's a little scary? No, I think he's a decent guy. But look at all those weapons he has over there. He told me he was opening a shop in his own. Here? He's opening a shop in his castle? He's weird. Yeah, it's pretty strange. But if you say that he's a good guy, I'll believe you. Uh, so yeah, anytime you talk to Mina... Mina's now recovered. Uh, and if you talk to Mina... She, uh, you'll get healed up, which is pretty good. So here's Hammer now. Is this where you open your shop? Yes, yes it is. By the way, that cute young lady over there, she's staring at you. Is she your friend? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean, yeah. I guess. Alright, so... Um, you can sell stuff, you can also buy things as well. Uh, so here's what he has in his shop. You can buy, um, the ca you can buy an, a, 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 the next castle map, which will reveal other parts of the castle. Uh, you can also buy some potions as well, as well as some mind, mind ups. Um, and the way you buy things is, is, uh, you just, um, kind of increase the quantity of what you want to buy. So it's very similar to um, uh, Tales Symphonia, the way you the, the way you shop. Uh, you, you can also buy some mind ups. I'm going to buy those as well uh, because those could be very handy. I'm actually going to buy five potions. Um, and then mind ups, you're not you're not really too concerned with your with your magic. At this point, so I'm only gonna buy a couple. You can get the base lard and a combat knife as well. Um, he's gonna basically sell pretty much most of the weapons that you encounter. Um, and then there are also some unique weapons too. But for now, I think that's what I'm gonna buy. Okay. Um. <laughs> I accidentally bought a weapon. I can't actually. I can't. Act, I actually like don't know what I bought, but um, I sold a weapon to kind of make up for the money. When you sell things, you get less money than how much you would you you would get. How much you have to spend to buy them, which is unfortunate. But um, I mean, I, I mean, you'll get some money back if you don't. If there's a weapon that you don't want to use, which there's gonna be quite a number of weapons that I'm not gonna use. Either because they're too slow, or I just don't- I just don't prefer, uh, their weapon. 
All right. Um, the so now we're back in the castle corridor, and one thing, one really cool thing is that if you get the if you can somehow get the zombie soul, then um, they will give you um. They will give you, and then uh, their soul's ability allows you to uh, not get poisoned, which is pretty good. Alright, um, let's see, uh, we are supposed to go over to, um, basically that area right there on the map. So that is where we're going to head up up to right now. It's nice killing off these early game enemies. Uh, now that we have powerful weapons. Because man, these enemies go down very easily now, now that we have the ability to <laughs> defeat the now that we have like now that we're using really powerful weapons against them. Uh, let's see what's over here first. Oh, axe armor. Okay, head down here, you get a lance. Uh, which is very, very long range weapon with very good attack power. Uh, so it's pretty good to have. But, unfortunately... Um, it is very, very slow. So, I will not be using it as a result. Uh, that right there is another new enemy, and that enemy is a huge pain to deal with when you're trying to when you're trying to take it out. Uh, that is the case for a lot of flying enemies. A lot of flying enemies are just really hard to, to, to take to deal with. Um, but later on, when we get more abilities, flying enemies won't become a hassle, but for now, at this point in the game, they are just really annoying. Okay, now we are off to another new area, which is the dance hall. And the dance hall... Well, there are no, there's no dancing involved, and we're encountered with another new guy. Strange, I sense a dark power within you. Who are you? It is rude to ask questions before introducing yourself. You're right. Wait, you can't give you. Wait, you, you can't reveal your name to me. Jay. Are you a criminal? No, I have amnesia. Okay. When I. When I woke up in the hospital, I had forgotten my name and my pass. Okay. Were you born with it? I don't really know. I first noticed it when I entered this castle. I see. I guess I was mistaken. Call me Jay. I was filled with fear when I hear the name Dracula. I came here because of the prophecy. I also thought my memory might return. In fact, since my arrival, I have felt like my memory is returning. Okay. I fear you are correct, especially since I have magical powers. Are you an exorcist? You might say that, but I work for no one but myself. I must be going. I'm sure we'll meet again. Okay. Weird, but alright. Alright, um... Let's see. What do we got, what do we got going up, up, up here first? I'm a little curious. Um, okay, well, I'll be I'll be checking that out later. I think. Let's see what happens if I go here first. Uh, okay. Um, these enemies can be kind of painful. Oh, 
Okay, yeah, I will. All right, if I go up, then I will be I will be over in this area anyway. Ooh, nice. So I'm just gonna head on upwards. Ah! Oh God. Alright, let's see what's over here. Uh, do I want to go there? Well, let's see what's up here. Alright, I think I want to go right first, from the looks of things. We got the Minotaur! Minotaurs are very painful. So, be careful when you're fighting them. Okay, let's go up here. And we have a save room. Ah! Ooh, nice. Um, so that was, that's, that's good of me for me to get their soul. Because, as you can see, that raises my attack and strength by a lot. Oh, God. Oh, come on! Alright, fine. I'm not gonna deal with you right now. Uh-oh. Okay. Um, I guess I forgot to mention that yellow souls that you get in the game, um, in they, they affect your stats. So in this case, the Minotaur soul I got increased my attack power, which is pretty nice to have. Wow! Fighting all those enemies gives you a hundred dollars. Oh boy! And then we get more a hundred dollars if we head there. And then now we have this room. You don't want to defeat this enemy, otherwise you can't go up. Left takes it to a dead end, so don't go left. Oh, okay, okay. Um, I need to try that again, so I will be right back. So, use those bone pillars in order to get that mana prism, and that's really all you would come here for. Okay, so now we just backtrack, and, uh, well, I'm going to make my way back to the save room because I did get myself destroyed. Uh-oh. Okay. Oh man, those guys hurt if I, if I uh, get hit by them. Okay. Made it back. 
and now we are going to head this way. Because now we're in the upper part of this uh, of the uh, other room that we were in earlier. And let's see what we got. Wow. Okay, yeah, I just wanted to make I just wanted to see what was down there. Oh, nice. Now I know I'm killing a lot of enemies that are um, that I see, and if you know me from past RPG LPs, I definitely will. I will like go out of my way to farm experience. And uh, if you go over here, you can get yourself a another warp room, so you can warp back here to the dance hall for if you if whenever you want uh, for now there isn't really a reason for me to warp anywhere so I am going to just continue oh my gosh oh okay okay man Okay, so now we're back here. <sighs> wow. And there's an item over there that we can't get. Oh, God. Alright, so now we're gonna head down this way. Ooh, nice. And look, it's the Creaking Skull again. Um, this time the Creaking Skull is, you know, is easier because we have stronger weapons to, to handle that guy. Um, and uh, you can actually, you can get uh, bosses' souls as well. And when you do get, and um, if you don't get a, a, a soul from a boss, like from like the first time you fight them, that means that they appear multiple times. So in this case, we did not get the creaking souls, the creaking skull soul, uh, and that's because you can encounter them later on in the game, which is basically what we saw there. So you can get the creaking skull soul uh, now if you're lucky, and their soul is pretty good to have. Ooh! Okay. Yeah. You come into this room, you don't really get anything other than some money. And I'm probably going to backtrack the save. I think. We'll see. Because I don't think there's a save room. Yeah, I don't think there's a save room if I continue heading downwards. So I'm just going to just go back and save. As soon as I get out of here, of course. This enemy is a major pain in the butt to deal with. Oh man, I got really lucky. And I got really lucky enough to just to make to make it out of that without getting hit. Uh, because those guys hurt. And it's that's not a joke. Okay, I'm gonna go back and save. Okay! We're back. I took some damage on the way back, but that is okay. I can I can handle with this health count. I also got um, 
couple ghost dancer souls as well. So you can't get this, you can't get this potion right now. Eventually you will. We just don't have the ability right now. So this is a recolored uh, evil butcher. And uh, recolored enemies tend to be stronger. Like they're stronger variations. And that's very common in, in, in a lot of games. Oh my god. It's very common in games where if you encounter a recolored version of an enemy, uh, they will have the same attack move, like the same like move set, uh, but um, they are stronger and a little bit harder to deal with. Oh, there was a save room down over here. Okay, well, I just went back for no reason. But that's okay, because, um, you probably want to, because you probably want to save anyway, because we are about to encounter a really, really difficult boss fight. This guy is so hard. So, um, that arm is really annoying to deal with um, and you can only attack this guy on the uh, on the legs or on the face and I don't think the arm can get hit at all yeah it can't get hit so you want to be careful of the arm okay So when it so when when his arm is like near his face, um, it can it, it can shoot rocks at you, and he can also swing its arm at you too, because he swings his hands in the air, saying "Hey yo," that's a bad joke. Yeah, as long as you keep your distance away from him anytime his arm is forward, then it shouldn't be that bad. But either w even then, this guy hurts a lot. Uh-oh. 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 Okay. Okay. I'm using my, I'm using my bat, my, my wing, my tiny devil soul in an attempt to damage him from a range. And man, we made it. Okay. All right. And with, and our reward for beating him is the skeleton blaze. And the skeleton blaze allows you to slide. Now earlier what you just saw there is uh, an enemy that like digs down the ground. This enemy right here is really hard to beat, and if you can beat it, uh, which I didn't, if you can beat it and get its soul, which is also not easy to do, then its ability is really good because it helps you reduce the uh, pr the price of uh, hammers items in the shop. Um, and that's very helpful when you're trying to get, well, there's one item later on in the game that, where Hammer's gonna sell a very expensive item, which is gonna, which is going to increase your chance of getting souls in the game, and that's very helpful when, if you're gonna get all the souls in the game, uh, which obviously I'm not gonna go for, uh, in this playthrough, but if you wanna get all the souls, then that item is helpful. Alright, and with that, that is going to be it for this episode of Castlevania Aria of Sorrow. And next time, we're going to explore more of the dance hall and see what we can do now that we can slide. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.